What's going on guys? Welcome to another unboxing. This is Witch on the Holy Knight, the limited edition set. And this is the Western release, which um, I actually did do an unboxing quite a long time ago on my old channel of the original PC version of this game. Of course, it was the import, and uh, it was a very different box. Well, it was it, it is a, kind of a similar box. This one is a little bit bigger, but it kind of opens up the same way. Um, or it might be the same size. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, I would need to get the old one out just to compare the two. But, of course, this one has the new uh, illustration, which I just realized that this is not done by Takeuchi, who does a lot of um, the art for, you know, Nasu's works. It's actually done by somebody named, uh, I think it was Kojima Koyama, uh, who did the illustration for Wish on the Holy Night. But it's kind of hard to mistake, um, mistake his style for uh, Takeuchi because it does look very, very similar. So you you could easily mistake it for you know it being Takeuchi, even though it's not. Um, but Koyama's art style does look very similar to his. So I was, you know, I this for a long time I did think it was Takeuchi that did. Uh, the art for Witch on the Holy Night, but it is not. So, yeah, this is the new limited edition set for Witch on the Holy Night. As you guys know, I've been playing and doing a playthrough of it on my channel, uh, but I just recently got the physical version of it in the mail. Uh, it was apparently delayed for a little bit, and that's why it took a while for it to get here. Uh, the digital version of it came out first before any of the physical copies came out, um, and I got the PS4 version because I actually, <laughs> don't tell anybody, I actually do not have a Switch. Um... But, uh, yeah, I just figured I'd get the PS4 version because I also have the PS4 version of the Tsukihime remake as well. I did do also do an unboxing of that if you guys are interested. But, anyways, let's get into it. This is the front, and the front has the new illustration, um, which I really like. It had, There's a lot more going on in the new illustration compared to the old one. Uh, the old one's really good, too, but the new one's really good. Um, it's very... I, I like how it has all the... Um, the main characters, uh, Alko, Alice, um, Sodro, and uh, it has um, Toko on there. But it even also has a lot of the side characters as well on the front, which is pretty cool. Like I really like, um, I really like that about this. That you know they feature uh, the different side characters that you encounter in the game. Um, but this is the front, of course, and it has, it has like I think a new, um, a new, uh, new title text. Like this is different from what the original looked like and I kind of like it I'll be honest but it is kind of hard to see because you know it's a, it's dark text against the be um, against this uh, kind of a bit of a dark background so it's a little bit hard to make out um I'm I really feel like they should have had like um like brighter text just so you can actually see it because it's kind of like this uh, dark gray and it's a little bit hard to make out when you uh when you look at the front uh but yeah this is the front side which on the holy night and we've got the back and the back i think is exactly the same as um the back on the old um the old game uh the limited edition set for the uh the old limited edition set for the game on pc i think this is actually yeah exactly the same so that's pretty interesting um but i am kind of wondering I'm, i forget exactly but i think it comes with some of the same stuff because the original came with this, a book kind of like this, this one here. Magician's Basic Tune. Um, and of course it kind of warns against spoilers uh, if you uh, read the book. So don't read it if you don't want to be spoiled. I guess I should warn you guys about that as well. But I'm going to just go ahead and get this out of the plastic. Uh, but I do really like that this book has some texture to it as well. Um, if you kind of feel this, uh, there's, there's actually some texture to the book, to the cover. Um, but what is kind of disappointing is that this does not, again, yet again, does not come with a soundtrack. Which is a shame because this, the, the Tsukihime remake and this game um, have some really great soundtracks. Which on the Holy Night is probably like is one of my favorite um, soundtracks to one of... Uh, um, to one of Nasu's visual novels. Um, so it really is a shame that this does not come with that. Uh, it just comes with an art book, and it looks like, at least I think this is an art book. Um, from what I remember of the original, uh, the original uh, limited edition version for the PC release, uh, it came with a book like this, and I think it was an art book. 
Um, I think what we're getting here is really similar to what we got with the Tsukihime remake in that it was also kind of a, a book that looked kind of like this. And it had like, it was an art book, but it also had some other stuff too, um, like some character bios and just general information. So I think that's probably what's in here. But I guess we'll see. Uh, we're just going to kind of skim through this, by the way. We're not going to go in detail or anything. We're just going to kind of just going to go through, you know, just sort of, like I said, skim through and um, just sort of admire this. It does look like, yeah, this this is an art book. Um, has some of the, uh, we see one of the background images as well as one of the promotional images for the game uh, that was, yeah, I think it's one of the promotional images because I remember... Uh, seeing this um seeing this when it first came out as another and here's some more promotional images really nice to have them physically though um i do like art books i do like having some of these like like i said these promotional images um just like physically having them because it is really good art and you know kojima or koyama he is a really good artist like he, and he could easily easily be mistaken for takeuchi because these like i said these look these illustrations are really similar to takeuchi um oh, let me have some more um some more promotional images um some art of alko and alice and uh an interesting uh, image there of of alice i'm kind of surprised that's an official illustration of well, and then we also have like swimsuit Alco, which I did. I, I do think they came out with a figure of that. I think it's kind of hard to find now, unfortunately, though. I think it was like Beach Queen's uh, Alco Elzaki. Always kind of been interested in getting getting that, but um, here we have just kind of the general information about Alco, which is really interesting if you you know want to remind yourself of certain things about her, like her birthday, her height, um. And, uh, well, yeah, and just other information that you, you know, you might have forgotten. That's pretty cool how they, how they have that. Um, and they also have just the, uh, the general sketches of her, which, uh, I like that they, yeah, I like that they have that, you know, just so you see the early stages of her, of her character design. And then they have, I guess, more finish. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. They have, like, uh, they kind of show you the process. Like, they have the... They have the sketch, the rough sketch with, the, like, the, I guess, flat colors, um, a more detailed one, and then they have, like, kind of the finished finished versions over here. Um, same thing with her and her, like, sweater and her other her other jacket, like, the different clothes she wears. And then we have her with her red hair, um, and it looks like there are some outfits here that might not have made it into the game that... Like that one in particular, I don't remember that unless that shows up later. Um, I do remember somebody mentioned this here where she's wearing like this nightgown that never appears in the game. So these could be like unfinished, um, like just kind of ideas that were not uh, implemented in the game, which is really cool to see. Um, they did do this, like I said, with the Tsukihime remake um, art book where they probably had some concepts in there that were not that weren't implemented in the final product. Um and here I think they just have like um, an interview with or uh, Nasu talking about this, and then Koyama like comments from Koyama. And I, of course, like I said, I'm not going to read all that. I'm just kind of going over these. Um, and then of course we have Alice. Same deal here. Just her general information and like the initial sketches, I guess, of Alice. Um, and then we have the famous, uh, <laughs> the infamous, I guess, uh, Penguin Suit Alice. I'm really waiting. I can't wait to get to that part in the game because. It's kind of become a meme, I think, in the community of her, like, wearing that st stupid penguin suit. Uh, I really want to know the context behind that. Um, and then we have some more general sketches of Alice. Really cool. We have uh, Best Boy Sojuro. Sketches of him. Um, I guess uh, some... Uh, the ink... Uh, the ink... Inking of him. Like, the general... We have the sketch, and then we have, like, the ink... Uh, the inked versions... As well as like the flat color version of him and the, uh, um, I guess the final version there. I don't. That must be something else that wasn't implemented in the game. Is him wearing that jacket? I never. I don't remember him wearing that jacket in particular. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Aozaki Toko. And we have her as, I, I guess, her as a, her teenage version of herself with longer hair. And then we have the, you know, the more adult version of her there. Um, we only really see this version of her, like, um, I think it was, like, really briefly in one of the Kara no Kyokai movies. But I, I don't know. We might see it in Witch on the Holy Night, but I kind of doubt it. Um, have some other sketches of her here. And uh, here's some other characters that we haven't come across yet in the playthrough. So, yeah, maybe some spoilers. Um, I think it's Lou Beowulf? Lou Beowulf? I guess he transforms into a werewolf. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about this character. I'm not going to speculate. Um, because, you know, don't want to spoil the guys too much. But uh, we have some of the side characters, too. Uh, Tobin Morrow. Um, we have some clothes that I, I don't know. Like, some of these clothes could show up. Uh, you know, these outfits... He wears could show up in the game, but um, I'm going to go ahead and assume some of these are are things that did not make it in. Um, Hosuke, yeah, it was a work outfit and some of his like casual clothes. Um, some of the other side characters, uh, Kajika. That outfit, I <laughs> that outfit right there is really interesting. I'm wondering what the deal with that is. Uh, Eri Fuminsuka Eri I guess he's part of the church um, I don't think he's shown up in the game yet though and at least in the play with how far we got in the playthrough he hasn't really made an appearance yet just from what I remember or from what I recall at least he hasn't made an appearance um, you, uh, Suse Yuika uh, I think she has shown up uh, she's the, uh, the nun from the church uh, she showed up, I think, in one of the extra chapters. But I think she showed up wearing, like, casual, like a casual outfit or something. Or might, no, 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 I think it was this person. It was uh, Suse Ritsu, Ritsuka. I think it was her that showed up. She, like, briefly showed up in one of the uh, the extra chapters. She might play more of a role in the plot later on. I have no idea who this is. May Riddle uh, Arkelot? Arkelot? interesting design though she she definitely uh i can already tell you uh sundere it just has the twin tails you already know sundere uh, and then we have the teacher uh this dude this old man he did he has shown he did show up like really briefly but i don't know if he's really an important character or anything and then we have some like some of the backgrounds which is pretty cool the different shots that are used in the game. Um, these are some pretty crazy looking things. I don't know what these are, but I'm guessing they they obviously have yet to show up. Um, they look kind of Lovecraftian in nature. I'm really curious as to what the hell these are. They, they're kind of creepy looking, honestly. Kind of remind me a little bit of those new creatures that got added into the uh, Tsukihime remake. And then we have the dolls, the creepy ass dolls that are being controlled by uh, Toko Alzaki. It's different symbols. Uh, I have no idea what to make of these, and they didn't really bother to translate them. That's interesting. We have like an interior map of. Um, Okay, the house, and then, yeah, I think it was the house. It's the interior map of the mansion, different shots of the mansion, outside of the mansion, inside of the mansion, more of the inside of the mansion, more of the rooms of the mansion. And then, of course, they're uh, outside of the school, interior shots of the school, and then, you know, the back, I guess, the, yeah, the back of the school, the hallways, we have a map of the school, and then uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, the part-time job that Sojuro goes to, his apartment, some parts, of, other parts of the city, the subway, the church, some other uh, shots of different areas. Um, I'm not really going to go into these. I'm not really sure what the hell this is. It looks like a short story, actually. A honey adventure? I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to read it later. I don't know what the... 
I don't know what the, what to make of this. It looks like it might be some kind of a short story. That's pretty cool that that's in here. Yeah, this is wow. This goes on. This is some kind of like novella almost they put in <laughs> they put into this book. That's that's awesome. That's that's really cool. Yeah, that it looks like that takes up the rest of this. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what this is. What that is. It looks like I said. It looks like it might be some kind of a short story that involves like Sodro and maybe one of the other side characters. I guess. But it's pretty cool to have. I'll probably read that after I finish the game because it might have some some spoilers for the game. I'm not too sure, but yeah, that was what that was the um, an art book and a, a uh, an art book with character bios, uh, different backgrounds, and it looks like a short story in there, which is pretty cool. Um, again, I will never not be disappointed that they do not include the soundtrack in these sets. I will never not not ask for the soundtrack because it is almost a crime that we don't have it, in my opinion. Um, but we also have the standard edition or, you know, just the, the game itself, uh, with new artwork. And I really do like this artwork. It's really nice. Um, but let's, uh, open this up. Okay. So this is the standard edition of the game. And as you can see, which I think is pretty cool, it actually has different screenshots on the back and a different, um, some different information, which is pretty nice. Um, as opposed to the outer box. And of course, inside we've got the disc as well as a shot of Misaki City in there. Pretty cool. Not not too much to look at. Um, it also looks like there's a little something in here as well. There's something else. Um, oh, what do we have here? Oh, at first I got I got my hopes up a little bit. I was thinking it might be like some kind of a poster, but no. Uh, I don't know what this is. Um, in the mansion on the hill, there live two witches. Um, in the late 1980s, the twilight, the twilight era of beauty and vigor, a boy moves to the city, barely missing two witches living uh, in modern times. Okay, and there's more on the back. The boy leads a completely ordinary life. She carries herself with gallant pride. The girl lives, lives a sleepy, hidden life. Uh, each walks a similar path. One would never expect their paths to cross. The story of how these three... Uh, disparate people came together is soon to be told. That's kind of cool how they have that in there. And it's just this little, like, flip-out flip out thing. I didn't really expect that. Um, then we have this in there. Let the heartbeat of rebirth sound witness the as the young woman unseals the magic blue. Okay, that is kind of similar to what was in the original box for the PC release about um, the girl, like summon summoning true blue or whatever it was called but yep that is that is everything that comes in here well guys that was the witch on the holy night limited edition set um it was it's pretty much the same as the Tsukihime remake set uh it comes with pretty much exactly the same thing whereas you know it's, it's pretty much the same book that you get um and there's a little bit of uh, that little flip out thing in there too, which is pretty interesting, but it's pretty much all you're getting. Um, would I recommend the set if you're a fan? Yes, I still would recommend it. Same with the Tsukihime Remake limited edition set. It's just nice to have. Uh, it's nice to have on your shelf. It's nice to look at. Um, but if you're expecting it to get a lot of extras in here, you're going to be a little bit disappointed. I think, you know, the, the real treat is what's in this book uh, because there is a lot of... Um, concept art there's a lot of extra information which is really cool but that's really when you when it, it all when it comes down to it that's all you're really getting in here there's no soundtrack there's uh nothing nothing else like that there's no little like uh, i don't know like sometimes they come with these acrylic figures or whatever there's nothing like that in there um there's there's no other little extras you might be getting that's pretty much all it is. So if you're okay with that, uh, it was a little over $60, which I think for what it comes with is definitely a fair price. Um, so yeah, that's what you're getting in the box. Um, it's I, I think it was fine, but I do wish it came with a little bit more, again, mostly the soundtrack because I really, it would be nice to have a physical copy of it. And I mean, I already have the soundtrack, but it would just be cool to have that and just, you know, to be able to import it onto my PC all and you know all that but unfortunately uh that's not the case so hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing hope it was informative and until next time i will see you all later